day, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Today's live event, I'm going to be demonstrating our AHC-10 adjustable round hole cutter and our new AHC-19 uh, adjustable round hole cutter uh, that also has a vacuum port built into it. But before I get started, um, one, please take a moment to like our Facebook page and go to jonar.com forward slash live to enter our contest to win an AHC-19. I am Ed Cervona, Senior Director of Engineering here at Jonar Tools. And with me today, I have Brenda, who's going to be pitching questions and stuff my way. And I have Michael, who will be keeping me in line and telling me when I'm standing in the camera's way and stuff like that. So. With that, uh, let me get started. So here is our AHC-10 adjustable round hole cutter, okay? It has a dust cover or a dust shield, allows it to catch the dust as you cut. It has uh, two blades in it. The blades are adjustable in width from about, uh, I would say, two inches all the way up to 10 inches in diameter. That's the maximum width of the inside of the cover here. Very simple and straightforward, easy to use. The, by the way, the blades are replaceable and the kit comes in this nice case here and has a set of replacement blades in it. So I'm do, going to do a quick demo on this, just show you how to use it. Attach it to your drill. It works with a drill. So we'll attach it. I'll put on my safety glasses and I'm going to come over here. I have a, a little ceiling here we have set up. It's uh, set up for height deprived people like myself so it's easy to use. I'm going to come over here, just put this right up here. And I'm going to start drilling. Mike, I'm not in the picture, am I? Okay. There you go. Okay, nice and cut. There's all the debris and everything in the shroud. So did a pretty good job. Didn't get anything on the floor. But the problem with that is you have all this dust in here and it's too easy. You're up on a ladder drilling. It's too easy to spill this stuff. So what we came up with was the AHC-19 adjustable hole cutter with vacuum port. Okay, I'll put this aside for now. So here it is here. And I'll basically just walk through assembling it. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Comes like this, so we're going to remove the nut on the bottom here. Take the spring off. Let's first put the vacuum port on. Here's the vacuum port. There's also, there's a hole in the cover for the vacuum port, but there's also a cap that you could put on as well. Let's take the nut off. There we go. You just drop the nut into the hole for it. There's actually little tabs sticking out so you don't have to sit here and hold the nut in place. You just tighten it like so. Next, we load in the hole cutter, place the spring. The spring goes on the outside. Let me turn this over and put the nut on. Pretty simple, straightforward again. Let me put my safety glasses back on. Hook it up to the drill. Okay. Now, all we're going to do, thank you, Brenda. Hook it up to the vacuum port. The vacuum port is two and a quarter inch, which is 
used mostly with larger uh, shop vacs. Many of the box stores, the Home Depot, Lowe's, et cetera, have adapters. So if you have a smaller uh, hose size, you can buy the adapters and just step it down to all the typical hole sizes that, that are out there. So with that, it's going to get noisy. We're going to fire up the vacuum and you'll see the difference. Go for it. Now, you can see there's no dust in there whatsoever. Okay. Let me take that off. Now, with that. Oh, awesome. By the way, you see I'm wearing black, no dust on me. Okay. Brenda, any questions? Oh, awesome. Nice to have the questions waiting. Okay, good question. So on both the AHC-10 and AHC-19, the metal rod here is marked. It's marked in metric, so it allows you to be able to set the dimension easily reference from the drill on each side. Interesting question. The question is, the dust shield here, are these made of glass or plastic? They're made of pla a polycarbonate plastic. Okay, the, the, so the question is, in case you can't hear Brenda, is can you cut hardwood with these things, uh, with either the AHC-10 or AHC-19? The, uh, the answer to the question is no, because the blades are really designed for uh, wallboard, plaster, and thin, what I would call thin, thin walled or thin, Plywoods like up to eighth inch uh, plywood, a Luan type plywood. It can probably go through some paneling as well, but that's about the maximum of what they're designed to deal with. Okay, anything else coming in? I want to give everybody a chance. So. Uh, okay. Okay, perfect. So we answered that. Um, before I go, I would like to show you our BP-100 backpack. This is a new product for us. It's our most recent uh, product edition. 39 pockets inside. Nice hard cover here to put sunglasses or safety glasses is a great tool it's designed to carry all kinds of tools makes a great holiday present so we suggest that maybe you want to pick one up all right so with that again please take a moment uh, to like our facebook page go to jonar.com forward slash live and enter our contest to win an ahc19 and with that thank you for watching and please stay safe